Civitavecchia port is the largest and busiest Mediterranean seaport and the main gateway to Italy's capital city of Rome. The coastal town of Civitavecchia sits approximately 80 kilometers northwest of the Eternal City. The port of Civitavecchia consists of eight cruise terminals and 15 berths that can accommodate the world's largest cruise liners. Civitavecchia port is also home port, meaning that cruises start and end in Civitavecchia. Most of the cruise passengers decide to visit Rome on their cruise. In this video, I'm going to show you a few ways to visit Rome from Civitavecchia cruise port and what to visit in Rome in a day. If you decide to explore the city of Civitavecchia on your cruise, I suggest you watch the video until the end as I will share a few things you can do in this Asian city. There are a few ways to reach Rome from Civitavecchia and the most convenient way is by train. Trains run approximately every 30 minutes from Civitavecchia train station to Roma Termini and the ride can last anywhere from 40 minutes to 1 hour 20 minutes, depending on the train. You can purchase the tickets online or at the ticket office at the train station. Trains in Italy are operated by Trenitalia and you can check the timetables and prices at trenitalia.com. Stazione Civitavecchia, or the central station, is located a 5-minute drive from the cruise terminal. Civitavecchia Port Link is the shuttle bus that normally runs between the cruise terminals and the train station. The single ticket for this bus costs 6 euros one way and the ride takes up to 10 minutes. Alternatively, you can take a free shuttle bus provided by the port authorities to Largo della Pace Information Point from where you can walk 20 minutes to the train station. Taxis are also available at the cruise terminal and the ride to the train station costs around 10 euros per person one way. If you decide to take a taxi to Rome city center, expect to pay around 200 euros per taxi one way. You can also book a private transfer or a short excursion to Rome. In the description of this video, I'll leave you the helpful links where you can check out the popular tours and private transfer options. If you are coming to Civitavecchia from Fiumicino or Ciampino airports, the cheapest option is to take a bus to Roma Termini, Rome's central station, and then take a train to Civitavecchia. Several private companies operate buses from the airports to Roma Termini, and the ticket is typically no more than 7 euros per person. Alternatively, you can book a private transfer from the airport to Civitavecchia port, and the cost varies based on the company. I suggest you check the offers online and book directly with them before your cruise. Now, let's check out the must-do things in Rome in a day. In the description of this video, I will leave you the link to a one-day Rome itinerary and the top 10 things to see in Rome in a day. Number 1. Colosseum The majestic Colosseum is one of the seven wonders of the world and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Named after its colossal dimensions, Colosseum is the largest ancient amphitheater in the world, dating from 70 AD. To reach the iconic Colosseum from Roma Termini station, you can take Metro Line B and get off at the second station. Make sure to book the Skip the Line tickets in advance, because the lines can be extremely long. You can also book a guided tour with your cruise line, independent tour operator or on-site. Number 2. Roman Forum the Roman Forum used to be the center of everyday life and an administrative and commercial hub in ancient Rome. Today, visitors can see the ruins of antique temples, basilicas, squares and other ancient structures. You can either book a guided tour that usually takes a few hours, or admire the Forum from the street. As it is located next to the Colosseum, numerous combo tours are offered as well. Number 3. Piazza del Campidoglio Capitoline Square is a public square on the top of the ancient Capitoline Hill designed by Michelangelo in the 16th century. The square is dominated by the equestrian statue of Emperor Marcus Aurelius, the City Hall building and two historic palaces housing the Capitoline Museums. The piazza lies next to the Roman Forum. Number 4. Piazza Venezia from Piazza del Campidoglio, you can take the stairs down to Piazza Venezia, a central hub in Rome dominated by the imposing Altare della Patria 
a large national monument built in the 19th century to honor Vittorio Emanuele II, the first king of Italy. Cross the street and you will reach Via del Corso, the main street in the historical center of Rome, lined with countless shops and designer stores. Number 5. Trevi Fountain Less than a 10-minute walk from Piazza Venezia, you will reach Fontana di Trevi, a stunning baroque fountain and one of the most awe-inspiring fountains in the world. The fountain has gigantic dimensions and was designed by Italian architect Nicola Salvi in the 18th century. Be prepared for huge crowds and do not forget to toss a coin into the fountain to ensure your return to Rome. Number 6. Piazza Navona Originally dating from the 1st century AD, Piazza Navona is today one of the most visited and most elegant squares in Rome. It is dominated by three lavish fountains and shadowed by the immense Sant'Agnese in Agone Church, the 17th century Baroque basilica that contains the skull of Saint Agnes in a shrine. You can grab a coffee in one of the cafes surrounding the square and admire the stunning Baroque architecture of this large piazza. Number 7. Pantheon A former Roman temple and nowadays the Catholic Basilica with an imposing dome and massive entry columns, the colossal Pantheon peacefully sits on the tiny Piazza della Rotonda, only 5 to 10 minute walk from Piazza Navona and Fontana di Trevi. Pantheon houses tombs of renowned artists and members of the Italian royal family, including Raphael, Vittorio Emanuele II, King Huberto I, and others. The entrance to the Pantheon is free of charge, however, you may face long lines. Number 8. Spanish Steps Piazza di Spagna, with its monumental staircase leading to the Church of Trinita dei Monti, and Bernini's Baroque fountain, Fontana della Barcaccia, is one of the most beautiful squares in Rome. The famous square has always been a popular cultural and tourist hub with a large number of hotels, restaurants, cafes and shopping streets. Here you will find Via Condotti, the center of fashion in Rome, with brands such as Dior, Gucci, Armani, Rolex and many others. Number 9. Castel Sant'Angelo The imposing fortress is located on the right bank of the Tiber River, a 10-minute walk from St. Peter's Square. The foundations of this castle date back to around 125 BC, and nowadays it hosts the National Museum of Castel Sant'Angelo. Number 10. St. Peter's Basilica and Vatican Museums Dominating the immense St. Peter's Square, the Basilica of St. Peter is the largest church and one of the most impressive religious structures in the world. The church is believed to be the burial site of St. Peter and is home to countless monuments and masterpieces including the works of Bramante, Michelangelo, Maderno and Bernini. The entrance to the Basilica is free, but there is a security screening, so be prepared to wait. A 10-minute walk from there is the entrance to the iconic Vatican Museums, which I suggest you visit on a guided tour. When planning your trip to Rome, keep in mind that crowds in the city are huge and you will probably waste a lot of your time waiting in lines. If you plan to visit Colosseum or Vatican Museums, I highly suggest you book a guided tour or skip the line tickets. The visit to these sites takes at least half day for each attraction, so keep that in mind as your time in Rome will be limited. If you are visiting Rome for the first time and staying only for a few hours, I suggest you either walk and enjoy the external visit of the main attractions or get around the city center by metro. There are two lines, A and B, and both will take you to the main Rome attractions. The single ticket costs 1 euro 50 and daily tickets are available at the price of 7 euros. And now, for those of you who decide to stay in Civita Vecchia, I suggest you explore the beautiful city promenade and admire the ancient monuments such as Fortezza Michelangelo, built in the 16th century to protect the port. You can take a walk, grab a drink at a cafe, 
shop or visit the city's church or National Archaeological Museum. In the description of this video, I will leave you the link to my article about Civita Vecchia where you can read in detail about the port and things to do in Rome. Thank you for watching my video and if you liked it, click on the subscribe button below for more cruise travel content.